Japan! Today we are going to be playing Japan in Hearts of Iron 4 and one fun thing I noticed, switching off all the DLCs and turning them back on did break my career profile. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I've only played 15 hour, 50 hours of Hearts of Iron 4, which, uh, and I've only played 24 times and I've not done any world conquests and I've only played the Soviet Union twice, which is not even true. You've seen me play the Soviet Union more times on this channel than it, well, I mean, I didn't really care about this. <laughs> I didn't really care about this stuff anyway, but still. It's, yeah, sure, I don't care. Oh, but I first need to collect my production this power. Ooh, can I do anything with that? Ooh, I can get the lion. Is it a worm behind the tank? That looks stupid. Okay, uh, I don't give a shit about the carrot profile. Today, we are going to be playing Japan in the stupidest manner possible. If you've played Japan, you might already assume what we're going for, and I can already tell you. <laughs> No, not even close. We are gonna go off the tracks very quickly. Yeah, uh, let's go mill factories once again. Uh, let's get a bunch of guns, don't care about this, don't care about this, don't care about this. We do have 340 convoys. Apart from that, decisions. Yes, we can get this, this. Steel for guns, aircraft production, yep. In this order. Honestly, the annoying part about this is, well, it's pretty much the same as the strongest Japan I've played. For now, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We do want docking rights from Italy. So long as you don't take this away from me, I will abuse this fact. Thank you very much, Paradox. Now I need to do the annoying part, which is split off the navy into bite-sized pieces. Uh, where's the... Ah! <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. Anyway, we are not going to pick a focus, and in two days you will find out... Oh, look at that. We are going to just find a pesky Yugoslav... Wait, we only needed 20... Ah, uh, whatever. We only need 40 points, but I don't... I'm not gonna pick any focus anytime soon. So this is perfectly fine. Now we can prepare a naval invasion from Taiwan even into... Why would you look at that? Toulon. Technically, I should go for concentrate because that's a stupid option. So, yeah, let's go for the stupid option. But first, a word from our... No, I need to save. Not a word from our sponsor. There we go. Yugoslavia, you are my eternal enemy. You've always done bad things to me. Ah, shit, we do not have... The French are smart. They put up ships. Wait a minute, no. Why are you leaving? Yeah, I don't know why my admirals didn't stay in their ports this game. As soon as I gave them an order to move, they went back to Taiwan for some reason the entire game. Even deleting their orders and reassigning them didn't help. Never figured out what's the problem. And then we can wait a little bit. We don't have naval supremacy anymore, but it doesn't matter. We've started the naval invasion. Apparently, that's how it goes in Hearts of Iron. We can get the... Actually, wait a minute. We can go for total mob. I completely forgot about that. Right. I'm stupid. This is... Yeah, well, it's the stupidest Japan, so I don't need to play perfectly. Haha! -ha! And we've won. We've won the game. Attack here and then I'll use the motorized to run around a little bit. Oh, hopefully... No! <laughs> I suppose that's one way. Is that one? Yeah, th that one is in the battle. It's cheating again. From this point on, I reloaded a few times to get the proper location down. Landing in Marseille just means you won't have any supply and thus you can't push before France joins the Allies. And I do want to capitulate France before they join the Allies. We are going to join the anti comintern pact because we are fascists. Fascists do not like the communists. We are, of course, the good guys. <laughs> I love this game, man. We're just cheating. Technically, we're not cheating, you know. We do have military access in Italy and now we're bordering Italy. So we're just moving into our own territory, sort of. You can land here. I don't care. If you land in Japan, then it's over. And now let's use our tanks a little bit here. No! <laughs> They're speedy light tanks. They are light tanks, right? Okay, yeah, not really. <laughs> Not really. There we go. That's much better. I either forget about life spill or I forget about recording. It is an eternal curse. They have garrison divisions here? Sure, then just stop. That horse is not standing on a port, nor on a supply hub, nor on a railway that is significant to their current war effort, nor on a border. 
And yet the AI never puts troops in their capital. Then again, I suppose if they put troops in such important spots, then they don't have any for the capital left. Why are you, looping? Why are you going to Somaliland? I'm just LARPing Japan right now. I'm trying to have a nice fair war and then my navy is just doing bullshit because they feel like it. Uh... <laughs> right now I'm assigning dockyards but they're not showing up in the li- I guess it's kinda cool. Whenever I record, things like this pop up. I've played Hotsvan for 600 hours, more than 600 hours, and some of these things that appear while recording have never happened to me. Once. I don't know, do I get convoys now or do I just waste dockyards? Who knows? How many are there? One? I can easily deal with one. No, don't go in there. No! That's unfair. Two versus ten is not fair. Don't really need a front line here. I can just play this by hand. And you know what? Let's go for free speed. Ah, uh, four speed. Free speed is very slow. Just so I can expand very quickly. How are you defeating a tank? They will just encircle these divisions here. Unless you can arrive quicker. Please. Nope. They are encircled. Because they are pinned. I can try and get around here with them. Can give you a last stand, I suppose. We might be able to do a count encirclement here. Oh, nice. You actually did that. Total mo. Get this thing. And then let's save up for extensive conscription. Who would have thought that capitulating the French would be such a hassle? Everyone attack here. Boom. Quickly took that tile. And let's take Burgundy. Burgundy? Brittany. Meow, look at them go out of the airport. And now we need to hurry. We actually need to hurry. It's June. Oh, yes. Okay, we got France. You know what? I'm gonna leave them with Brittany. And now we need to prepare another naval invasion. The UK is guaranteeing China, which I don't know why they would do China. I have no ambitions of attacking China. And, um, sure. Come and get me, Turkey. Come and get me. I don't know why you would. Now, of course, our war goal is to take Yugoslavia. They have oppressed the Japanese people far too long. We've landed, we do have a port, everything is perfect and as it should be. Now we can attack Czechoslovakia. Oh, I could have... Ah, oh, I just realized I could have dropped everyone in Zerg... Zara. Zerg... Zara? That's a weird tile. <laughs> yeah, let's just take it, I guess. And you know what, let's just auto this. I don't really care. Oh no, Turkey has embargoed me. No. Oh. Hey, Nelene. No. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Come here. We can, of course, puppet Yugoslavia, but then they might submit to Italy and Germany. I don't know if they do it in their focus trees. Oh, let's just take them. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> this is the front line you gave me? <laughs> can we break through Bernat? Uh, you stay here, please. Come on, force attack. And then let's see if we can do some weird encirclements. I am tempted to walk into Czechoslovakia now because of the small front. But I feel like the Czechoslovakian problem will solve itself in a moment. Okay, for some reason, people keep embargoing me. I don't know why. I've done nothing bad this entire game. Uh, no Japanese person has ever done anything bad. Case in point, I don't know a single person, single Japanese person who's done anything bad, you know? And if I don't know anyone, then, well, they surely don't exist anymore. But as always with Romania, just take everything yourself. If you don't, the Germans are gonna give something to Hungary and then something to Bulgaria and then the Soviets will come. And if the Soviets want to attack me, sure. But then they have to call me, not Romania. We can try and take them now. We can fall back. You know, let's, let's just try this, I guess. Communist China declared war on China. Oh no, that's gonna be bad. They will join the common turn. China joined the Allies? Oh no. Okay, China is not a major. That's somehow worse. I don't know if I prefer China being a major here or China not being a major here. Oh no. No! You know what, let's join the Axis. Since we are at war with the Allies, we do have to reconsider everything we've done thus far. And I think we might even have to consider an unthinkable option. 
Communist China joined the Comintern. That is what I was afraid of. Yeah, the allies are not in this game. My favorite place in the UK. Since we just went down the communist path. In the other paths, you get war goals. You can, even in the democratic path, you can get the islands, the Pacific islands from the allies. You can get various little buffs, additional factories and such. But the communist path is the best one, which is why I'm playing it right now. Just look at this. In our tree, we can do such funny things as losing weekly stability. Mind you, we have 70 stability now. Once the civil war kicks in, we'll be at like 20. We can get war support and free communist generals, but we give up eight of our generals. Most of them are already trained. The research slot, everyone gets that one. And then we can release Manchuko and start a civil war. We get 5% less consumer goods, which I guess, like the other ones, get factory increase, factory output and such. So I guess that's cool. Infrastructure, 12 aluminium. We can send more volunteers. 2% recruitable pop, sure. I don't think we need it. This is on extensive conscription with total mobilization, so we can still get 3% more recruitable pop for 5 stability, which we have plenty of. And then we can give Manchuko buffs after we release them, mind you. We can get stability and sure, the 5% weekly stability is a lot, but if you didn't go down this path, you would not have stability problems. And then you get a puppet war goal against Manchuko. So this entire tree is pretty much just, oh, you can do it. If you do it, you shoot yourself in the foot. Where are you going? What the? I guess the, yeah, I guess the Suez is, Suez isn't even closed. And I suppose not having France really does hurt the UK in the African theater. I do need to puppet the UK and Palestine, and then I'll take the mainland. After we took a nice little vacation, in Europe, I think we can send everyone back in our army. Just take a look at what we've done to the world. Yeah, for the world. What have we done for the world? There we go. I just sent my strongest admiral, admiral, general away. And I got nothing for it. He was, <laughs> he was a logistics wizard. But hey, I, I gotta go for the stupidest way to play Japan, which is declare war on Yugoslavia to get France. And then declare war on yourself to uh, get a war goal against Manchuko. The cool part is we do have Qing China now. We just lost all of our half of our army, half of our stockpiles. We did get divisions. Oh wow, we have so many good. Just lost everything I did. Wait, are we at war with the Axis now? Thank fucking God. There we go, they just left Tokyo. Now we lose the fascists, we lost Korea. We lost Taiwan, Ryukyu, all of our Pacific Islands. Yeah, okay. That was a misplay on my part. I thought we could annex France and the UK afterwards, since right now we lost half of our army, half of our air force, half of our navy. We do have a big border with the Axis. We don't have any troops, so we need at least protection from Daddy Stalin for a little while because <laughs> France and the Balkans are just up for grabs right now. This time I will not get thrashed by the Germans because I'm not playing as Italy and most importantly I'm not playing without DLCs which means I can design proper airplanes and I know how my airplanes work. Most importantly that. Most importantly that. Could probably work on our stability a little bit. 50% less factory output right now. We waited 70 days to give either minus 10% stability to us or to buff our enemy. The only point of this focus would be that you go back and puppet Qing China, which right now is the Imperial Guangdong territories. You puppet them and then you have a puppet with 10% more division recovery rate. I just don't get it. Like, <laughs> that's that's everything. I just don't get it. Oh, look, we lost our army infantry guy. Infantry expert. Oh, okay. Seriously, the only upside is we won't have to worry about stability, but you don't have to worry about stability anyway as Japan because you have Hirohito. I just... I don't, I don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> oh god. I have to stop. I'm actually... I can't... I can actually hear, feel myself starting to cry. 
It's not that bad, but it's very bad. Wait. Oh, no. I thought this was permanent. I thought you just get 5% weekly stability until the end of the game. No, you just get it until you have 50% stability. You wouldn't even have less than 50% stability if you didn't go into the civil war. None of this makes sense. Not a single focus in this focus tree makes any sense. 12 aluminium. It baffles me how insane that is. Like 12, 12 aluminium. Just think about this, how much this is. I don't even know what I would do if I had 12 aluminium here. Like here, right here in my home. Oh, Stalin, 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 Stalin. What is this? What are you doing? Please eat fewer rocks. It's not healthy. Why do you, where are all of your divisions? You have 200 divisions? I don't think you do. Hey, Stalin, I just got your memo. Think I'm ready to join the war. The Soviets are gone. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we can push, but I suppose, yeah, I suppose the entire army is still in the east. But hey, if, if we can get the Italians out, and it's very easy to get the Italians out, then maybe this is gonna be easier. Okay, uh, I didn't think it would be this easy. There's nobody here. Fall of Leningrad? I suppose they transferred it. That's why the event popped up again. You know what's a fucked thing? I wanted to capitulate the Italians and I almost killed the Germans. And they never took Denmark. That's why they're so weak. They don't have the Kiel Canal. Oh, look at that. We got a logistics wizard. Have I got the feeling of deja vu? This poor bubble. If they at least had Jibizanma in Shaanxi. Well, this is looking a little bit cursed. And I guess it's good that they don't have Tibet and the other Chinas. No. Don't you dare. Surprise naval invasion. Not really a surprise since I was spammed the entire time about naval invasions. I just didn't care. <sighs> My internet. Oh, is it? Is it over? I see only darkness before me. Oh, they puppet the Tibet. That is not the communist Vatican in Bologna. Communist Vatican in Bologna. And well, at least Veneto makes sense. Oh, I just... No. Oh, true. I am the leader of the common turn now. I can just kick Stalin and then declare war on him. I would have just declared war on him like this. He only has 40 divisions right now because he just got out of exile. But I think that's enough. This is the stupidest way to play Japan and it's just... <laughs> None of this makes sense. And that's why I did it. I just don't get this focus tree, man. Like, why even bother making this? There's not even something fun and quirky where it can be like, oh yeah, we communist states of Asia or something, you know? Like, you're just playing normal Japan, but worse. Because you have a civil war, you lose half of your army, half of your navy, half of your staff. You lose pretty much all of your useful generals. And then you spend the next year doing focuses to just remedy the fact that you just shot yourself in the foot. I suppose you can form a faction with China, with communist China and the Comintern. But why would you ever? Like, like with, with, with the Soviet Union, I guess I can see some fun there if, if everything else works out historically, which in this case it didn't. If the rest just works out historically, I guess it could be fun. But then I would just play democratic Japan and use the allies, get the Pacific Islands from the allies and then declare war on the Germans. Whatever the case, I'm Ijo. This has been the unthinkable option.